the drama. You got to go. By the time I met you, I already had another kid. The resolution. I'm an incest survivor. It's all today on Trisha. She never knew her father doubted her. To want me to take a DNA test after 24 years? This is crazy. Oh, hey, man, I'm sitting up here. You want a DNA test for me, Dad? I do. I do. It ain't, it ain't your fault. John says Brittany's mom, Monique, was messing around behind his back. Even when you was pregnant, I caught you with somebody. John's got two more exes in the audience. What, you cheated on her with one of these two ladies? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Right. Yes. And I took care of your daughter because you wouldn't. Girl, you don't, you don't even know me. You know you this is true. You are Can a DNA test put this decades old question to rest? Latonya grew up believing her mother was dead. 44 years ago, my husband stole my daughter, Latonya, out of my arms. Before your father died in jail, he sent you a letter saying he'd lied all those years. My father confessed to me that my mother was alive. Alita could be her long lost mother. He snatched Latonya out of my arms. She could be her mother's twin. She was running around pretending to be my mother. Or she could be nothing but a scam artist. So you're here to find out whether Alita really is your mother or if she's posing as your mother and your real mother was the identical twin that died. Could, could have happened. The DNA test is only the beginning. Identical twins have identical DNA. Today on Trisha. here today to prove to her 24 year old daughter Brittany that this man John is in fact her father you see Monique says that although she and John planned Brittany John's been denying her since she was two years old claiming she's too dark-skinned to be his child now Brittany says all of this has come as a shock in fact she had no idea that the man she's always known as her father has been harboring doubts for more than 20 years so, before we go any further, let's hear her mom, Monique's side of the story. I can't believe that my ex, John, would question the paternity of our daughter, Brittany. I'm gonna prove to him once and for all that she is his daughter. John and I dated for a year. We became so close, he asked me to have his baby. I even stole an ovulation kit to get pregnant, so Brittany was a planned child. John had the nerve to say that Brittany wasn't his daughter because she was too dark. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. John's ex-wife, Blaney, and his girlfriend, Kimberly, claim that they helped raise Brittany. That is not true. Blaney actually had the nerve to call me a deadbeat mom. I'm a damn good mother to Brittany, and I resent anybody who says otherwise. The possibility of another man being Brittany's father is zero. John has damaged his relationship with Brittany by suddenly denying her. When he finds out the truth, he will owe Brittany a big, fat apology. Okay, now. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. We haven't even started the show and I'm sitting here with Monique and as you heard in that clip there, uh, John's uh, present partner, Kimberly, and his ex-wife, Blaney, are in the audience and they're already casting aspersions on you as a mom. But I wanna just put them aside for a moment. Let's go back to the beginning. You say you and John planned this baby. Yes, um, we were together for a year and right. one day he said, I want you to have my baby. I said, have my baby? So I said, okay, I went to the store. I stole an ovulation predictor test. So when, right. when the baby was born, what did John say? About a few hours or whatever after she was born, he took one look at her and said, that's not my baby, she's too dark skinned, and walked out the room. That's it? That's it. His name's on the birth certificate? His is. Her last name is, his last name. So why does he sign the birth certificate if he's got doubts? Uh, good question, good question. Okay. Now. There's so no doubt, there is no other, there is no other person. Oh. True, Brittany was already about four years old. I already had my second child, whose father was helping take care All of right, Brittany. All right, let, let, me, let me get this right. So one of you is uh, Kimberly. Who's I'm Kimberly? Kimberly? You're Kimberly. Yes. And how long have you and John been together? We've been together as long as Brittany is old, 24 years. 24 years? And yes, ma'am. Blaney, how long have you and John been to, what, what were you, married? Or I was married to him, but we was together off and on for seven years. And I took care of your daughter because you wouldn't. Girl, you don't, you you don't even know me. You know you this is true. You are a 12. Listen, here's where I'm confused.
news. If John has been with you, uh, Kimberly, 24, 24 years, years. You've been off and on. And you've been on and off. Yeah. How many on and off women are we talking right. about? Yeah. I mean, when I, when I found out he had messed around on me, you know, it was... But did you know he was in that house with the baby and they, um, I was sitting outside in his lap. That's what right. it was. I mean, you right. was but his me and he was pretty much done then, you know what I'm talking about? I'm surprised at her. Me and her never had a raise of a voice at each other. So yes, now, hang on. Will. These two ladies, I'm, I'm confused. How come both of you have been bringing up Britney? I was there. So are you telling me both of you brought her up together? Okay, no, separately. Right. So how many mothers has Britney got? Oh, she's got one. You know what? She's got one. You know what? She got one. She's got one. Did she know was there? She got one biological mother, but she also has about three mothers that took care of her. Whoever she was with. Hey, hey. Whoever is one biological. Whoever whoever John was with. I can't believe it. Because Brittany was always with him. Have either of you women ever heard from John that he had doubts? as to whether he was Britney's dad. Yes. He said he was down in Monique's um, basement when he overheard a conversation with um, her father about um, her going upstairs and telling the truth about this kid because he knew the kid wasn't his. Is there any possible chance that John uh, is not Britney's dad? No, not dad? at all, not at all. He was, he, was, he was my first, oh. let me tell you something. He was my okay. first relationship. You was I might have had you two friends home. before that. But this. Exactly. Because he said so, the liar, no, no, the liar, because no. he said so, no, no, that's what you got about to go that. on. It that's that. what you got to go on. You got to go on. You got to go on. By the time they met you, you already it. had another kid. So, Both. you know... We've heard Monique's side of this family drama, so I think it's time, girls, cross your legs. So I think it's time uh, to meet John. Yeah, John, you. come on out. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so is it true that when you and Monique met, you actually planned to have a baby? Yeah, we planned to have a baby, but okay. I think me and Monique was in love with the idea of being in love. Were you exclusive? No, we wasn't ever exclusive. What, maybe you weren't? What do you mean? You were like my first real boyfriend. Monique, what are you talking you, about? When, when I saw found out the you had a, a, a reputation for being a hoe? Yeah. So, says exactly. people. That's my whole point. We was together. I done, I done caught you plenty of times. Even when you was pregnant, I caught you with somebody. Oh, I caught you with somebody oh, over the phone. Oh, I, the the phone. man told me, he said, do it. The phone. Oh, it's good. Remember that, and I would have had you I, over there. I really don't. I mean, it's right. been 20 you years from now. Hey, 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 just a minute. I'm confused with the cro chronology of these women. So she's number one. And then while you were with her, what, you cheated on her with one of these two ladies? Is that right? Yes, yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. Which lady? And then while you that's, were with that's, that lady... That's, that's the mother of my child. Which one? Both of them. <laughs> Did you see it say singular? He said mother and child. Yeah. Mother's children. Well, when when, when I... she met me, I was... I How was with Monique when I met... Uh, so, I'm, hang on. I'm 40. I'm 40. Really. No, so you were with Monique when you met... Kim. Kim. Yeah. And you were with Kim when you met Blaney. Right. So how many children do you have all together? I have five kids. Why do you doubt Brittany? Because Brittany is darker than the rest of my kids. Oh. Oh. That's the truth. Color, color. And the guy I got her suspecting her to be the father of the kid, he stays on the next street. I just ah. didn't really care. My, I didn't my, really care about that because I was doing my, my own brown. thing. Yeah. Your right. You're one of your aunts. But your dad brown expected. Skin. That's genius. Your dad the one put it in my head that Brittany might, might, not, really? might not be oh, my that's daughter. That's the conversation. Exactly. Well, right. well, that's the conversation I was having. Well, well, he can't defend herself. She the that. one always playing around. You know what I'm saying? So I that's what it was. Hey, just a minute. Because what? Because Hey, listen. What about when I was living with you? I caught the guy with your. In the driveway. What about that? One thing I want to pick up you up on is that you're saying that Monique was playing around. From what we've heard, there were so many overlaps in your relationships. I don't think you're in any position to be pointing a finger. Oh, yeah. Now, number two. I want to I mean, come to you we, and Brittany. We, I want to talk about you and Brittany. Well, so, can, I, can I be clear? Yeah. Both of us. We 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 did love each other, but she was she was messing around just and as much so as me. You. It was yeah. a tough. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so I, Brittany I ain't pointing the finger at nobody. Are you close with Brittany? We was close. Did you have any issue with Brittany's lifestyle at the time? Well, when she came to live with me uh, yeah. back in 2010, right? She wanted to bring her friend up 
to live with a us. male friend no and so I wouldn't support that relationship. Well, anymore. hang on. Are you saying that she was in the oh, same yeah, sex? Yeah, yeah. Right. She was, she yeah. was with another And you wouldn't support one. that? No, because I had two little... Did... I got two daughters. I didn't want her to uh, bring that under my roof. I didn't want them to see that. Well, that's a story because he that? told me on the phone... Uh, he told me on the phone, I want my daughter to come up here. And even if that means bringing her, the girl, up there I with me... I told the girl on hard. the phone on Facebook that I uh, that just, she couldn't come live under my roof. You the one supported. You the one gay. I don't support that gay relationship. Okay, but she's grown, and I'm going to support whatever she she knew whether okay. she 12 or 32 or 52. Bravo, baby. Bravo. 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 Now, uh, I understand that Brittany's got a little girl, so you're a granddad. Uh, you seen the little girl? No. You haven't? Oh, She's three, week, three weeks old today. Why have you not seen her? What's going on right now? Uh, we haven't been getting along, so... You haven't been getting along? Okay. So if the DNA test confirms that you are her dad, what's going to change? Anything? A whole lot of change. I mean, I, I want to get close to Brittany. I want, I want her. That's my stanky. I love her. I just want her to be with me. I mean, I don't even want to hate this woman. I just wanted to quit putting putting no either. ideas in her head. But why? You know, why you she got so her own long? ideas from so your long? actions, John. Mm -hmm. She got her ideas from she, your actions, She getting it from John. your actions. You telling her all this. Why would I you do that? I had purpose, And right? now she's spitting venom why on me. That's what I'm saying. Purpose. I want. Okay, let's why take a break. Let's take a break. When we come back, John's alleged daughter, Brittany, has some questions of her own. And we will reveal the DNA results. Coming up. You want me to take a DNA test after 24 years? This is crazy. I'm sitting up here, you want a DNA test for me? I do, I do, it ain't, not, it ain't your fault. And later. 44 years ago, my husband stole my daughter, Latanya, out of my arms. Latanya grew up believing her mother was dead. So you're here to find out whether Alita really is your mother. Life-changing DNA results. Hey, you want a DNA test for me, uh -huh. Today on Trisha. Hey. We've been talking to Monique and John. Now, 24 years ago, they planned to have a baby, and it all comes down to this young woman. That's why we're here today. Uh, and before we meet Brittany, um, who's just heard for the first time when our show contacted her that John actually had first some time. doubts about whether he was her dad or not. Let's listen to how she describes her predicament. I had no idea that my dad, John, won a DNA test until the Trisha show called me. I'm so hurt and confused that after all these years, my dad is doubting my paternity. This is really upsetting to me. I always thought I was daddy's little girl. My dad and I had our problems in life, but to want me to take a DNA test after 24 years, this is crazy. My mother, Monique, says she's 100% positive he is my daddy, and I believe her. If the test proves that he is not my dad, then that means my mom been lying to me my whole life. Okay, let's meet Brittany. Brittany, come on out. Hi. You haven't spoken to your dad for a while. No, but oh. I just want I just want to get something right. Yeah. I just don't appreciate nobody disrespecting my mom. I don't care what <laughs> what we want to say. I just don't appreciate nobody disrespecting my mom. You understand? She might did what she did, we might went through what we went through, but don't disrespect her. Yeah. That's my mom. You feel me? Are you, is that what you're That's saying? It. Well, did it upset you what, Blaney? I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah, it do. It's, it's upsetting me, but at the same time, I'm not gonna diss my mom or put her down. But did Blaney, at all. And, did Blaney and Kimberly bring you up? Did they bring me up? I mean, I know about them. I've been, I've been around them my whole life, you know. Did they Understand? Raise you? Did they no, raise I, you? I, my mom raised me. Did I know that, but at the same you? time, I know them because I've been around them my whole life. Hey, 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 just a minute. Hey, we let, let us speak. What what were you saying? You know them because yeah, they I were. I know them because I've been around. I know them because I've been I've been around my dad my whole life. You know. Now you didn't know that John even had any <laughs> doubts about your paternity until we called you. So yeah. To, first, my mom called me and said, she said, well, Brittany, you ain't gonna believe what your dad just called me and said. I said what? She said he wanted because DNA test. That's how I kept it away from her. She was mine regardless. He said she was mine regardless. Said, Did I ever treat you like you wasn't mine? Did I ever treat you like you wasn't mine? Look at me, Stan. I told him. I said, I 
Look at me, look at me as your daddy. Get out of the tree, Tawana. Hey, come on, just a minute. I grew up knowing you was my daddy. I love you like that, Brittany. I love you. Hey, 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 hey. But it's hurting that I'm sitting up here. It's killing me. You got the grandbaby. I can't see my daddy. I'm hurting that I'm sitting up here. You want a DNA test for me, daddy? I do. I do. It ain't your fault. It ain't your fault. It's the things that me and her went through. That's why I'm getting DNA tested. John, hey, John. So, so, Brittany, if you'd heard from your dad, or if you'd heard from John, if he'd contacted you directly and said, let's sort this out. Right. I think what you're being hurt, you were heard about is that you had to hear about it third hand through the, right. sh exactly. through the show. Yeah. And then when mommy That's told me started. about it, I was hurt. <laughs> like, you know, at first I was like giggling because I was like, it's not true. You know, you don't want no DNA test for me. You then found when, that hard when, to believe. When you contacted me and I was sitting there like, he, he for real. Like, seriously. I mean, I always gonna, know him as my dad. Like, but what are you going to do if the DNA test says he's not your dad? I mean, I believe he's my daddy. I couldn't answer that. Yeah, I, I'm I, saying. Look at, can anybody, I mean, look at them. Do you think you look, a, you look similar? John, do you think you look similar? <laughs> me and her look alike. <laughs> right. So what are you hoping will be the outcome then? That you, you put all this behind you? Yeah. Okay, but then what? Tell, tell your dad like you tell me. I mean, so much space in between. I mean, yeah, whatever you make. See, I'm, let her, this, let her is to to talk, this is how I talk to Monique. Brittany. I say, Brittany, let communicate. Hey, 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 just a minute. I tell my children, communicate. When you're not feeling something, don't like it, love it, whatever it is, talk about it. She's saying, I'm not calling him because he should be the one calling me because he the parent. Well, I suggest to her to always call you. All the things that's going on in Mississippi she didn't like. Let's find out <laughs> if Brittany is your daughter. That's why you're here, after all, so. So, John... You're the one with the doubts. Do you want to open the envelope? I don't know what it says. Do you want to open the envelope? That's oh, you, the Lord. one who contacted the show. So, yeah. okay, excuse me if I come and look over your shoulder because, as I said before, I don't know what, what this says. Coming up, can a DNA test put this decades-old question to rest? Oh. Up next... 44 years ago, my husband stole my daughter, LaTanya, out of my arms. LaTanya grew up believing her mother was dead. So you're here to find out whether Alita really is your mother. Results. Yeah, you want a DNA test for me, uh -huh. Today on Trisha. <laughs> okay, in my hands, I'm holding the answer to a 45-year-old DNA mystery. Welcome, Latonia. <laughs> now, growing up, Latonia was told by her father that her biological mother was dead. But in 1990, after years of silence, her father revealed a shocking secret, that he had lied and that her mother was, in fact, alive. Oh. So after 20 excruciating years of searching, Latonia finally found Alita, the woman she believes may be her mother. But Latonia fears this may all be a scam and has come here today to uncover the truth. Growing up, my father told me that my mother was dead and I believed every word he said. I just always wanted to know why I didn't have someone to hold me, to hug me, to kiss me goodnight, to tell me things were gonna be all right. In 1990, my life changed when my father confessed to me that my mother was alive and that he had been lying to me my entire life. When I read those words and realized that my father had been lying to me, I felt that I had been cheated a normal life a life that a kid is supposed to have with a mom. If not a mom and a dad, at least a mom. My childhood was rough. My father was a monster. He was abusive. He was the worst, Ugh, I can't even say it. To find out that I had a mother, I felt angry at her. So I began searching for my mother 
And after 20 plus years, I found Alita. I'm skeptical that she may not be my mother. I don't look anything like her. My fear is that Alita is not really my mother, just a lady who's taken advantage of my generous nature because I have been sending her money and doing as much as I can for her since I met her. It's been 45 years, pain, heartache, loneliness, fear, and I just want closure. I just want a mommy, and I want to make sure that this is my mommy. Now, here's another twist. Alita had an identical twin sister named Juanita, who was also intimate with Latonya's father, and she supposedly died. Now, Latonya fears that Alita actually is Juanita pretending to be Alita in order to scam her. The fact that you're just sitting here <laughs> is, is amazing. You had one hell of a childhood, didn't you? Yes, ma'am, I did. Could you ever remember your mom from when you were little? No. You know, my first memories are of my grandmother and of my father going back and forth to prison to visit him. He treated you abominably? Yes. Abusive? Abusive. Not verbally abusive. I'm an incest survivor. And he went to prison. Yes, he but went he to prison when I was nine. Yeah. And he died there. He died in prison. And he died there. So He died in prison. OK, yes. so he always told you that your mom was dead. I mean, he did, it was never that he had taken me from my mother, just that she had died. And he had moved on and brought me to live with his mother. And... Did you used to look at your classmates with their moms and, and people? Oh, yeah, just uh, parents, period. Not just mom, but to have what I had as a dad and then to have no mother. It seemed unfair. I longed for, quote, unquote, normalcy. So all these years, you've been on your own. And then, then you get a, before your father died in jail, he sends you a letter saying he'd lied all those years. He said, your mother is from Texas. And, and she is. Her siblings are. And her mother's name was. And he gives me all these little tidbits. That's the last time you heard from him, though. Yeah, we didn't speak any more since. So you started looking for your mother. Yeah. So I'm going to jump you forward because it was uh, years and years of, of hell and looking for her. Finally, you saw her name to do with a, an obituary mm -hmm. that her twin sister had I Googled done. her name and it popped up in a memorial page for her twin. And it listed the same names as that were listed in my letter from my dad. I just want to ask you, what was it like speaking to Alita, the woman you believed could be your mum? What was it like, that first conversation on the phone? It was tearful. I did a whole lot of crying. Um, I had a lot of questions. So eventually you, you, you save up all your money and you actually meet this woman. Mm -hmm. What was it like the first time you saw Alita? Did you think, oh, yeah, I see myself in her? No. I, I, I didn't. I mean, I... I'm fairly light-skinned, you know, and she's real dark. I don't see, she has big eyes, I have beady eyes. <laughs> I, I have, you know, my family, my father's side, all of them got this nose. So, you know, I just didn't see me when I looked at her. But you, you've been sending money to her, taking care of you. What is, what is your fear now? You were actually, because she had a twin sister, what is your fear that could be going on? Well, as I understand it, within two months of being married to my father, he was sleeping with the twin. So hang on, are you worried that perhaps her identical twin is your mother and Alita, why would Alita pretend to be your mother? At this point? Yeah, what, what would her motive well, be if that-, pe if that People have done less for more, right? What and if you got somebody every payday running you a little bit of paper, you know what I'm saying? People just in general, people have done less things but, for more. But how would Alita know all of these details about your past? And in reality, you know your sister. This is your Whoa. twin sister. You gonna know her business. You gonna know about her man. You are gonna know about her child. You just you gonna know. So That's you're here to find out whether Alita really is your mother, or if she's posing as your mother, and your real mother was the identical twin that died. Could could have happened. What are you gonna do if, if you find if your worst fears are realized because you spent your whole life looking for mommy? Well then I'm I'm gonna have a whole lot of questions and we're gonna have to find mommy. We still gonna be on a mommy mission if this isn't my mother. Then I'm still I'm trying to find my mom. So 
Now, as you can see, there, there are a lot of unanswered questions, and when we come back, we'll meet Alita and we'll get the results of the DNA test. Stay with us. Coming up... 44 years ago, my husband stole my daughter, Latanya, out of my arms. She could find her long-lost mother today, but there's a twist. Identical twins have identical DNA. Oh. And later, can a DNA test put this decades-old question to rest? You are the fact. You're the fact. Life-changing DNA results. Hey, you want a DNA test for me, Dad? Today on Trisha. Welcome back. I've been talking to Latonya, whose life is about to change. And during the commercial break, you said it's been a crazy life, but you have survived it. Growing up, she was told by her father that her mother had died. But after 20 years, he admitted it was all a vicious lie and that her mother was alive. Now, unfortunately, it took Latonya another 20 years to find Alita, who claims to be Latonya's long lost mother. But Latonya fears she's being scammed. She could be being scammed. Now, Elita says she spent the last 45 years hoping that one day her child would come back. Watch this. 44 years ago, my husband stole my daughter Latanya out of my arms. I remember that day like it was yesterday. My ex-husband Seth was a horrible, abusive man. That day, he came in screaming and hollering, and I thought he would kill me that day. I was so scared, I took Latanya and my other kids and went to my mom's house because I knew I'd be safe there. Next thing I know, he came to my mother's house and he took Latanya out of my arms and he disappeared. I cried every day for five years. Just when I had given up hope, she found me and made me ecstatic. Hopefully, she's my child and she's back in my life to stay. I know Latanya questions if I'm telling her the truth about being her mother. But when I held her in my arms, there's no doubt in my mind that Latanya is my long lost daughter. Wow. Latonya, you haven't seen Alita for several months since that first and the last actual meeting. So this will be the second time ever you're meeting your mother, if that's, if that's who and she is. And my birthday is tomorrow. And your birthday. Oh, I give y'all So that. I hope today is a gift. <laughs> so let's, let's welcome... Let's welcome Alita to the show. Hi. Hi. Welcome. So this is... Hi, baby. Thank you. So tell me the last time you saw Latonya when she was a baby. I had just had a new baby a week before, and um, I had taken my children to my mother's house, Latonya and, yeah. and the new baby. and He showed up. He showed up and he snatched Latanya out of my arms and left. Could you find, did you look for her? Did you? I was told that she was in Kansas with her grandmother, but I wrote her grandmother a letter and I never got a response. I didn't know who else to try to find to find her. When you divorced him, the judge told him to give Latanya back, but he, he disappeared full again. Custody, full custody of Latanya. He disappeared and again. He, took off, left the courtroom, and just kept going. How does a mother deal with having her 11-month-old child taken away by it's someone you know to be cruel and abusive and... It's devastating. It's like she died, because I didn't have no more contact. I didn't have nothing. Did you hear, obviously, Latonya told you about what her childhood was like? Yes. How does that feel, hearing what she went through? It's horrible. So, so Latonya, let me ask you this. How would Alita know all of this? if she's not, in fact, the person she says she is, your mother? 
because again, if you're a twin, I mean, twins are said to be the closest people on the planet. You know what I'm saying? So if, if this was my twin sister, or if I had a twin sister and I was going through this with my husband, wouldn't I tell my twin? Yeah. Wouldn't she know everything that was going on in my life? If my husband beat me up, wouldn't I tell my twin? What does it feel like being reunited? I'm guessing with her, you never thought you'd see her again. No, I didn't think I would see her again. Now, as you heard, Latonya fears that maybe you've taken your twin sister's identity. That would be identity theft. And my sister had five kids, and I wouldn't want to take her place. I have a hard time <laughs> being my own self. Yeah. So you're not scamming. You're not in this for the money, even though she's been very generous. No. But your whole life, you, I'm guessing you, Latonya, you've never been able to trust anybody because if your own oh, father lies to you and yeah. says something like your mum's... I got real trust issues, real relationship issues. It's, yeah. You've yeah. waited all of this time for these results, so I think it's time you actually get those results and we've got the envelope here. Now, who... So this is the DNA test. Who wants to... Let Latonya open it. I don't know what it says, so excuse me for, for looking over your shoulder. The <laughs> Tonya, now that we have those results, I've got some pretty shocking news. Uh, these results, unfortunately, do not prove that Alita is your biological mother because, I'll tell you why, um, identical twins have identical DNA. So a DNA test cannot determine whether Alita is, in fact, your biological mother. Or if her deceased twin, Juanita, is the actual parent. Now, we saw this coming. And to get to the bottom of it, what we did was to arrange for Alita to sit down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator, and our polygraph examiner. <laughs> Up next, the DNA test is only the beginning. Are you pretending to be Latonya's biological mother? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Alita... Oh. And later... Can a DNA test put this decades-old question to rest? DNA results. Hey, you want a DNA test for me, Dad? Today on Trisha. Growing up, my father told me that my mother was dead, and I believed every word he said. In 1990, my life changed when my father confessed to me that my mother was alive. My childhood was rough. My father was a monster. He was abusive. So I began searching for my mother. And after 20 plus years, I found Alita. I'm skeptical that she may not be my mother. I don't look anything like her. I just want a mommy. <laughs> and I want to make sure that this is my mommy. 44 years ago, my husband stole my daughter, Latanya, out of my arms. I cried every day for five years. Hopefully, she's my child and she's back in my life to stay. You've waited all of this time for these results. Yeah. Um, these results, unfortunately, do not prove that Alita is your biological mother because identical twins have identical DNA. So a DNA test cannot determine whether Alita is, in fact, your biological mother. Now, we saw this coming, and to get to the bottom of it, what we did was to arrange for Alita to sit down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator, and our polygraph examiner. nervous about reading results um, I I've never been as nervous as this Tim are you ready I'm just reading yes. the questions Tim's gonna tell us if Alita's answers were truthful or not Alita we asked you are you using Latonya because she supports you financially you said no Tim the polygraph determined that Alita was being truthful oh. 
ask you, Alita, are you pretending to be Latonia's biological mother? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Alita was being truthful. We asked you, did someone other than you give birth to Latonia? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Alita was being truthful. Alita's identical twin sister, Juanita, is not your mother. Okay. This is your mother. Yeah. So how... That's the dumbest question I'm going to ask for that. <laughs> how does that feel? It you with your trust wonderful. issues and everything. I'm still going to have my trust issues, but it's nice to have my mom. <laughs> it's real nice to have It's like I won the lottery. I just don't have no money. <laughs> <laughs> I wish both of you. I so you 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 deserve. You have earned every second of happiness you get from here on in. Thank you. God bless you both. <laughs> we'll be right back. Up next, let's find out if Brittany is your daughter. That's why you're here, after all. So. Can a DNA test put this decades-old question to rest? You are the fact. Get off my stage. Life-changing DNA results. Hey, you want a DNA test for me, uh -huh. man? Today on Trisha. I can't believe that my ex John would question the paternity of our daughter Brittany. I'm gonna prove to him once and for all that she is his daughter. John's ex wife Blaney and his girlfriend Kimberly claim that they helped raise Brittany. That is not true. The possibility of another man being Brittany's father is zero. You a hoe. There is no other person. You don't even know me. By the time I met you, Brittany was already about four years old. I took care of your daughter because you wouldn't. Girl, you don't, you don't even know me. You know this is true. Is it true that when you and Monique met, you actually planned to have a baby? Yeah, we planned to have a baby, but okay. when I saw her find out the blue, you had a, a, a reputation for it. Being a hoe? Yeah. I just don't appreciate nobody disrespecting my mom. I don't care what, <laughs> what we want to Now, you didn't know that John even had any doubts about your paternity until we called you. Don't sit up here. You want a DNA test for me, I Daddy? Do, I do. I do. It ain't It ain't your fault. Let's find out if Brittany is your daughter. That's why you're here, after all, so. So, John, you're the one with the doubts. Do you want to open the envelope? I don't know what it says. Do you want to open the envelope? That's oh, you, the Lord. one who contacted the show. So, OK, excuse me if I come and look over your shoulder, because, as I said before, I don't know what, what this says. It is what it is, exactly what we knew it was. It is oh, your doctor. Oh, what a surprise. Look at them. So, John. I don't need it. Do you have an apology for Monique? Because let me just say, putting doubt on a woman who, who's gone through all of this, who's given birth, and you took one look, according to her, you took one look uh, at That's Brittany. Not true. I, well, I, I, whatever the situation she, was, you've had doubts for a long she, she time. Has, I, I, Anything I, 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 you want to say. I won't be in mind about it. I, I, I apologize to you, Monique, especially to you, Brittany. Oh. I really do apologize. I love you. I never stop loving you. After that, Brittany. I'm sorry. Oh. I know that's right. Am I right in thinking, besides all of the bitterness that's cropped over, uh, up over the years, mm -hmm. that if you actually plan to have a baby with Monique, it sounds to me very much like you were each other's first loves? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. This is the first girl you fell in love with. Not counting any aspersions on you two ladies, but num ladies number two and three, you need to remember that. This is his first that. love. Respect for being the mother of his first child. OK, we will be right back after this. Life-changing
DNA results. Yeah, you want a DNA test for me, Dad? Today on Trisha. family drama like you saw on today's show that you need resolved give us a call or contact us on Facebook that's a good idea yeah yeah, yeah and I want to thank you for watching take care <laughs>